these are our four cinemas here from the top uh, left as you're looking at it, the Plaza Insuro, the Regal and Wade Bridge, Lighthouse Cinema in Yuki, which was our latest one five years ago, and uh, White River Cinema in St. Austell, which is now seven and a half years ago. Uh, we are now into our 72nd year of operating, I'm the fourth generation of our family to do it. The most famous person in our family to have done it is the person in the middle left there. Um, that's David Williams, or uh, Dad. Um, he's been doing it for uh, 50 years. Um, and he's always been one of the people that's always wanted to innovate. So he was the first person to have, uh, it first independent cinema to have three, digital 3D. And we've been have event cinema now for just about five years in our flagship cinema in Truro. Uh, that picture is uh, opening the cinema in St. Austin seven and a half years ago, and judged by looking at me about seven and a half kilos ago as well. <laughs> uh, this is going to be pretty much like Cornwall, this is going to be pretty simple. Uh, okay, so without stating the, stating the obvious, Cornwall to London is a very long way away. Uh, the time and the cost that it would take to go and watch something live in any of the venues in London is significant. Um, so to be able to put these event cinemas on in a comfortable location of your own cinema, is great for our local audiences. Our local audience, primarily at the moment, is getting old. Uh, there's lots of old people in Cornwall, lots of retirement areas around the area, uh, around the county. So the event cinema, as was mentioned in the presentation before, is really hitting that demographic. A lot of these people are sort of lapsed or new audiences to us, really. Uh, perhaps 10 years ago, when we wouldn't have such events or in, in effect such films that uh, would target these sort of ages we are now beginning to get them back into cinema so hopefully there is a crossover from when they go to watch a live event to something that they might want to watch actually in our usual cinema uh, operation so i'll put some of the titles there that would uh, have been popular and hope to be popular in september with the bridget jones new bridget jones film um, we're hoping that there's a more crossover into that audience, so we're not reliant on this sort of mainstream 18 to 30s and families at the weekends. Because of the advent of digital cinema, we've been able to make the cinema a bit more of a community venue. Rather than relying on the same people to come back more often, we are able to do different things. So obviously event cinema is one of them, but these are sort of some other things that we've done before. We, we've kept a 35mm projector in one of our cinemas, so we do 35mm screens with Mark Kermo, which is down on the bottom right. Um, that was a presentation of Life of Brian, which was banned at the cinema in Truro uh, 30 years ago because it wasn't fit for Truro. Uh, the bottom left is we do live stand-up comedy and various live stage events uh, in our cinema in Yuki. And the one in the middle there, we even screened the live premiere of Poldark on BBC TV um, where we were live broadcast on uh, local television. So with, that, with having this technology, it means that we are not reliant on the same people coming back more often Hope will get, hopeful of getting more people through the door and attracting new audiences as well as being able to do new events which are interesting and fun and we enjoy them very much. So thank you very much. <laughs>